welcome back to War Chess Wednesday series on everyone's favorite trial lawyer podcast settlement nation brought to you by Independent Life, the only plaintiff focused structured settlement provider. As always, I'm your host, Courtney Barber, and I love sharing more great tools with you to add to your war chest in your fight for justice. Now, today we are joined by Pratik Shah, the CEO of Esquire Tech, a groundbreaking software that automates the discovery process in minutes and gives lawyers back what they need the most, which is time. So welcome. Thank you so much, Courtney, for having me and for that wonderful introduction. Oh, listen, there's more to come. I can't wait to tell all of our listeners about your software and um, hopefully get you some new customers and people actually getting some more of that time back, which I know trial lawyers, all they do is seem to be bogged down in paperwork, which is not great. That's (laughs) exactly right. (laughs) So before we begin, I want for you to tell everyone a little bit about your background and the catalyst for what gave you the idea to sort of create this software. Yeah, no, thanks for asking that. I mean, you know, I, when I, when I graduated from law school and passed the bar, I started off at the DA's office, did that for a year. Then I really wanted to start my own practice. So I started as a solo practitioner and I was a true solo for two years. I, you know, had no paralegals, no staff. It was just me doing everything. I had, you know, more than a couple dozen cases in litigation, and I'm doing all the discovery myself, all the mail, everything. And you realize how much, how tedious the paperwork is and and how much time is just spent on things that should be automated, like copying and pasting from a PDF to a Word document, things like that. And the first solution that comes to mind when the answer is, I don't want to do this anymore, is let me hire somebody and make them do it. And then you realize as you've trained them and they're working that their time is valuable, that they're smart. There's a million other things they could be spending their time doing. And and that's kind of what happened with me. Now I have a, a, you know, pretty decent practice, like seven people, a couple of attorneys, a couple of paralegals and staff. And and what happens is um, I, I start asking the team, where is the bottleneck? What is slowing our cases down? What is stopping us from getting this into mediation? Or why are we continuing this trial? What is happening to slow down the resolution of these cases? And the common response I kept getting across the board was written discovery. Mm-hmm. And I started looking into why, where in the written discovery process are they getting bogged down? And it reminded me back of being a solo and having to stay up late at night or while I'm watching TV after I put the kids to bed of copying and pasting. And it's just mind numbing on the fact that we still do it that way. And that's kind of how this software came up is just, we know how long it takes to create that word shell, to get answers from the clients, um, to get verifications from the clients, put our objections in all those things. And we know that a computer can just do it a little bit faster. Right. So let's talk about Esquire Tech. Like how does it actually work? Yeah, great question. It's really simple. I mean, it's all online. You just go to EsquireTech.com. You don't have to download anything to your computer or you don't have to install any hardware. You just go www.esquiretech.com. You click sign in. You sign in. It's all on the cloud. It, we're fully HIPAA compliant. You upload the PDF that you get from opposing counsel. It extracts all the questions. And once the questions are all extracted from the document, we can do a couple of things. We can send the send our client a text message link and an email link. So the client can just answer it on their cell phone, answer it in their email at a time that's convenient for them. We don't have to schedule a three hour time Mm -hmm. block for them to talk to us on the phone or to talk to our staff on the phone. Because the reality is everybody's busy. Lawyers are busy, but our clients are busy too. They've got busy lives too. So if we can make it convenient for them, they're more likely to answer the questions and give us the responses that we need. So we send them a text message link, they send us the answers back. And instead of the other, the next process is putting your objections in. And instead of having to find some old discovery that you worked on in a similar case and find the objections and copy and paste them, instead, we just have a menu. You just click an objections button. The menu comes up and you just click the objections you like and all the language gets auto populated. So you don't have to kind of reinvent the wheel every Mm -hmm. time. And in terms of timing, how much time do you think it's saved from like a, a normal discovery process? What how, what is the reduction now that you've seen with people using Esquire Tech? Yeah, that's a great question. So we actually ran some data on this because I wanted to get the actual numbers. We ran a poll of 100 paralegals and 100 attorneys. And we asked them just on the shell part, just in creating that Word document from PDF 
to word. How long does it actually take? And 40% of people, which was the plurality, said it takes between one to two hours to get the Word document ready. And in our system, it takes between a minute to five minutes to get the Word document ready, depending on how complicated the document is. Wow, so which is just crazy. On that, <laughs> yeah, just on that, you're saving a ton of time. And then we hear paralegals and staff that are normally on the phone with the clients getting responses, telling us, hey, it's a two hour, three hour phone call. Mm -hmm. Now I send them a text message link. And I still have to make a phone call to clean up some answers and get some right. extra detail, but it's a 30 minute phone call instead of three hours. So Which they're finding so 10. Yeah, thank you. They're finding, you know, 10, 15 hours extra a week that they were spending on discovery on multiple cases. And now they've got time to send out more subpoenas, the depot notices, all the other work that we have left to do on our desk. Right. So when you said that it lives in the cloud, um, you know, when you actually send the link, I guess, to the clients, they can just do everything from their phone. Is it that easy or a laptop or something like that? Yeah, either way. I mean, I've had clients that have done it on their lunch break. They're wow. literally sitting in their lunch in their lunch break, their break room at work. They, they get the phone. They get the excuse me. They get the link on their text message. Excuse, let me correct that. They get the link text in a text message. They click the link. They enter the verification code that comes with the text and they can just answer the questions one by one right on their phone. And if they've got one of the more modern phones that has a little microphone, they can click it and they can just speak right into the phone and it'll write out the answers for them. So we're trying mm -hmm. to make it as easy as possible. Now, look, at the end of the day, some clients that are difficult, they're going to be difficult no matter how easy you make it for them, right? But for the clients that are truly trying to move their case forward, that are truly, you know, that truly understand what's at stake and they want to make it easy for us, this is a tool for them to help us help them. Which is so good because that's one thing I hear from all the trial lawyers that we work with is just... Yeah, I'll get back to you when I have time. And I guess it's mainly because it's filled with all this other paperwork stuff and uh, not, not enough trial time and, and more of this. So I want to talk a little bit about price with you. You know, say you're going from like a solopreneur to a huge firm. What are the price breaks uh, for the sort of different segments of, of people? Yeah. So one of the things as a law firm owner myself that I got um, kind of frustrated with is every time I'd see a tech that I like, uh, they tell me it's, you know, X amount of dollars per license. And so if mm -hmm. I want every single person in my office to be able to use it, I got to pay X amount of dollars times Y amount of people every month. And I don't know who's going to use it, who's not going to use it. And then if somebody leaves and I hire somebody new, I got to buy a license and, and get rid of a license. And it's such a nightmare from the administrative side. So I knew that I didn't want to do that when I started this. And so what we did from, we did two sets of price, two pricing models. First is a pay as you go model. So if you are a solo, like I was, and you don't have a ton of volume, but you're starting to grow, you just log in. It's free to create an account. And you just pay for each document that you use. So if you're running a special interrogatories document, cost $15. You run a request for production documents, another $15. So you can just pay for what you use. Um, and then we have for the larger firms, we have an unlimited option where they can pay per firm. So we charge $300 a month for your entire firm, or you can pay up for, for the year and you get a little bit of a break and it comes down to $249 a month. So, and, and when I say it's your entire firm, I mean, you have full control on creating user accounts, creating an account for your paralegal, your secretary, and other attorneys in your office. Anybody that you want to, you can create and delete accounts at your leisure. There's no cap on users or buying or selling licenses or anything like that. Which I think is such a huge selling point because like any company, when you have an enterprise level software, which usually is like maybe six or seven people, you know, like when you have seven or more employees, they make you get the top tier. And that can be, you know, a couple of thousand dollars per month just to have that. Whereas, and as you said, it's per person too. So you buy all these licenses and then you realize half the people never log in, but you're paying for them to have access. Whereas this is just, yeah. you get one and then it's whoever needs to use it, can use it, which I think is just fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, you're exactly right. There's nothing more frustrating than being a law firm owner, purchasing five, six, seven licenses and only seeing two people log in every month. <laughs> and 
you're like, well, can I delete it? Can I get rid of these licenses? And then your staff's like, no, 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 we're going to use it. We're going to use it. And they make you keep paying for it. So, you know, I understand that frustration and, and it's much easier to budget this way. It's much easier. It's just cleaner to say, look, everybody's got to log in, use it if you need it on a case. If you don't need it, don't use it. We've already paid for it. It doesn't matter. Sure. So what is some feedback that you've had from other attorneys or law firms that are using it right now? Yeah, I mean, you know, the feedback's amazing. If you look up our Google reviews, we've got all five-star Google reviews. I mean, across the board from trial lawyers, class action lawyers, all the way down to paralegals and legal staff, just the amount of time it saves. You know, for a long time, I thought it was just my law firm that was inefficient in doing it this old way. And I started asking everybody, that's why we ran these polls, because I thought, hey, are we going to build this thing? And then suddenly somebody's going to tell me, can't believe you did it this way. Why don't you do it this other easier way? And so, you know, we learned that everybody's doing it this old, inefficient way. So the feedback across the board is just, I can't believe that somebody didn't invent this before. And I guess I'm grateful that nobody did because then I got to. But it's (laughs) it's just the (laughs) amount of time. I think what I always tell people is, look, if you see the demo, there is a free trial. You sign up on the page, you go, you get five Mm -hmm. documents you can run for free. And after that, if you don't see the time savings and it's not for you, then it's not for you. And and I won't bother you anymore. But I always think everybody should give it a shot, have their paralegal or whoever does discovery in their office, take a look at it. And they're going to see that it's freeing up just hours. Right. Absolutely. And if you had one sort of fabulous selling point of the whole entirety of Square Tech, what would that be? Yeah, I would say that um, automation is the future. And and what we're doing here is we're automating that discovery process that we've been doing the same way for 30 years, that now this is the way all firms are going to do it in the future. It's just as essential as Microsoft Word or Gmail or Outlook or whatever you use. Once you use it, there's no way you can go back to doing it the old way. That is so good. So please give yourself a plug. Tell everyone where they can get the demo, find out more information, uh, start using it today. Awesome. Thank you, Courtney. Yeah, my name's Pratik Shaw. The website is Esquire Tech. That's EsquireTek.com. We're at Esquire Tech on all social media. Again, that's Esquire T-E-K, Esquire Tech. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. And for everyone who listens to War Chess Wednesday, make sure you tune in next time. But in the meantime, go check out Esquire Tech. I actually went to their exclusive party in Las Vegas, and they have really cool swag as well and really cool parties. So that is a selling point as well. And I wish (laughs) they have really cool stuff. But I, I am sold on this. I'm not an attorney myself. But if I was, I'd be using it. So everyone, go check it out. Make sure you do Esquire Tech. And thank you once again. Thank you, Courtney, for having me.